Accused of plotting and carrying out a deadly attack before an Orange County church service has been charged with murder. A beloved local family doctor was killed in the attack. And KKL 9's Lori Perez is live at the Geneva Presbyterian Church in Laguna Woods with his loved one's search for justice. Lori? That's right. Many hope that that court appearance today will be the start of a swift road to justice. It just doesn't seem real. It just seems like a nightmare. Lori Salas came to Geneva Presbyterian Tuesday to honor Dr. John Chang, her doctor of almost 20 years. She says when she heard about a hero in the shooting and saw his picture, she went from happy to heartbroken in a second. It said, oh, a local hero. And I see Dr. Chang's picture pop up. And I was like, oh, my God, he's a hero. And then I read further and my face just drops. Chang was the only fatality in the shooting that left five elderly congregants injured. Authorities say he sacrificed himself by lunging at the suspected shooter Sunday, giving others a moment to rush the suspect to and subdue him, as seen in this photo from inside the chaos. Tuesday, with Las Vegas security guard 68 year old David Cho appearing remotely and using a translator. Mr. Cho, are you still able to hear us over at the jail? The DA made the case for 10 charges, capital murder with special circumstances, five counts of attempted murder, and four counts possession of explosive devices. He's accused of using nails and chains to lock the church doors so no one could escape. I think the intent in my mind was very clear, what was going to happen. And the explosive devices um, really, really scare me about what could have happened. Authorities say what could have happened was stalled by the heroic actions of Dr. Chang. His loss noted by the president of Taiwan who tweeted, I want to convey my sincere condolences on the death of Dr. John Chang and my hopes for a prompt recovery for those injured in the shooting at Irvine Taiwanese Presbyterian Church in California. Violence is never the answer. That he's now recognized worldwide is no surprise to friend Derek Wright. When Dr. Chang, who was a martial arts grand master renowned in the U.S. and Hong Kong, was in medical school, he trained Wright and others in a parking lot before eventually opening five schools in Orange County. But I'm proud of him. I mean, I. That's something exactly what he would have done. We train for this in martial arts because we never know when something's going to happen like this. Um, and. Sometimes we win and sometimes we don't, you know. Um, he lost his life, but so many other lives were saved because of it. Right, and others who knew Dr. Chang say he dedicated his life to saving lives. It's no surprise he ultimately gave it to. He saved my life more than once. He honestly treated me for anxiety and depression, which is when even when nobody else really knew about it, he was there for me. He really was just a true, compassionate, caring man who took care of everybody else before himself. Now, aside from his medical practice, we're told that Dr. Chang himself trained hundreds of students in martial arts at those schools he opened. The district attorney said today he is considering this as a death penalty case. In Laguna Woods, I'm Lori Perez. Back to you.